Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. If you're new here, I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related, I got you covered. In today's video, I want to talk about a brand that is new to me. It's called Kiko Milano. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. If you heard of it, drop a comment down below. Um, I first noticed this brand on Ulta's website and they don't carry the whole line but they carry a couple of things and the one thing that really caught my eye was the packaging and then I saw um, Juicy Jazz, I think that's her name, uh, review a couple of times like months ago and anyways I started following them on Instagram and I started to see like their holiday collection, gorgeous. So I ended up actually ordering through their website because they were doing like a three, you buy three things and you get three things for free. So you get to pick like six products. So that's what I did. And if you know me, you know, I picked anything that had to do with a highlighter. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about today. Again, it's a new brand to me. They are based out of Italy and they're made in Italy. And I saw a thread on Reddit not too long ago that said, um, I don't know if this is true or not. Uh, that their products are made in the same factory as like Charlotte Tilbury, Pat McGrath, which I thought was cool. Now granted the ingredients are obviously going to be different, but you know, I don't know, that was exciting to me. <laughs> so that was part of the reason that I was like, oh, I want to try this. So I'm going to talk about what I got, we'll do swatches, and then we're going to do an application. I do have some notes because again, this brand is new to me. For starters, let's talk about what I got. I got two, I'm sorry, I got the Holiday Fable Divine Glow Highlighter. Now on their website, there's two shades. On Ulta, I think they only have the darker shade. This is the packaging it comes in. It's really nice. The packaging is embossed, which means like there's texture to it. It's foil stamped, really pretty. So this is it. Oops. This is plastic. But, you know, the details are very, like, thought carefully or thought through. Look at this. That's really pretty. Once I'm done showing these, I'm going to show you, um, I had a couple of videos where I'm like, or pictures where I took up close. I may actually say that for the end of the video when I'm editing. But that's the highlighter. And that retails for $17.99. Now, this stuff, like this line, is definitely like drugstore, but it's like, it's not high-end drugstore. I would say it's somewhere around like L'Oreal's prices. So that's one highlighter. Then I got these two Radiant Duo Blush and Highlight. They only came out in two shades. I got both of them. Like, look at this packaging. Super cute. So it came in shade one and shade two. Shade one had a like a pinky rose gold kind of highlight. Shade two has like a champagne highlight. And the blush, this is what it looks oh, so hold on. <laughs> this is what they look like. Very pretty. The packaging is extremely like luxurious. Um, so it's dual ended. This one is shade one. So it has like a coral shade blush and kind of a uh, like a champagne colored glow highlight. I'm sorry, my words are like leaving my mind right now. This is shade two. This one is a rose gold and kind of like a gold blush. I'm going to highlight them, but I just wanted to show you guys first. Then, okay, that retails for $15.99 each. And then last but not least, I the box I don't have with me, but they have these two, what is it called? It's called Holiday Fable Molten Glow Highlighters, $17.99. Guys, check out this package. It's crazy. Well, the package was similar to this, but look at the container it comes with. This is glass. Look how beautiful that is. Like, this feels expensive. I feel like this is something you would see at a counter at, like, I don't know. Bloomingdale's or something or Nordstrom really pretty like nice weight and everything um, this is described as a radiant sophisticated glow all right so now that I've showed everything I'm gonna swatch now so I'm gonna actually stand up and I'm gonna swatch for you guys 
excuse the mic. Let's start off first with the Divine Glow Highlighting Powder. This is what it looks like. And again, it has like, it's embossed. Hopefully you can see that. I hope that's in focus. Yep, there you go. Now it's in focus. This is what it looks like. Look at that. That's really pretty. So I'm gonna swatch it here. It feels very like fine milled. If I turn, you could see it. Next, I'm gonna do the two blush. The first one is gonna be shade two. Just so happens to be the first one I pick up. That's the blush side and the highlight side. Of course, when I show these, I'll apply them like one on one side, one on the other side, like I always do. This is shade one. You can see, so the blush is like, it's more rose tone versus like the coral shade. And that blush is, that highlighter is like, it's like a true champagne kind of, like a champagne gold. That's that. And then the Molten Glows, I'm actually going to do on my other hand. This is copper. And that's kind of the consistency of it. It's like a gel. And the other one. It's a gold. That's what they look like. This is the copper. This is the gel. When you squeeze it out, it does apply kind of heavy. Let me see if I can shear out the swatches here. Yeah. This is the gold and the copper. Kind of like swatched. So, when I first swatched these on my hands, I was like, that's really metallic looking. But then I played around with it because I was excited and I was like, wait, I I saw them on Instagram like being um, demoed and everything and I'm like, did I just get tricked by like Photoshop? Everybody's like skin looks so good and when I swatched it on my hand, I was like, this is not, this is not going to look good like on the face. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. All right, let's um, go into application. So I'm just going to put a little moisturizer on my face. I'm going to use my Wildcat Mushroom and Moss. I just need something lightweight. I'm going to start off using the illuminators that I swatched last. They can be used on the face and on the body. Now what caught my eye originally was the gold one, the pale one. I'm like, oh, that's going to work perfect for my skin. But then I saw somebody demo it, and their skin was like like my skin tone, and they used the darker one, the copper tone. Um, and it looked really good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to apply that to my face. The only thing I have on right now are my brows and some mascara. So I'm going to do gold on one side and copper on the other side. So first up is gold. This, unfortunately, when you push the pump down, you get a lot. So you can kind of try to mess with it and get a little bit, but kind of hard. That's the gold. So I'm going to take that and just apply it to my face. I thought that when I originally was going to apply it to my face it was going to be super metallic. It's actually not it gives a really pretty, pretty glow. It's not heavy or anything like that, which was amazing. <laughs> Gonna add a little bit more to the high point of my face. It looks so good. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Um, like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. It's on the face, it, like, it looks the same, like that same really pretty glow. So that's the gold shade. I'm going to take the copper shade on the other side. This one, when you apply it to the face, if you're darker than me, it's going to look good. But if you're about my skin tone or lighter, you're, you're going to see the color a little bit more. You'll see. See how that's warmer? But same thing, when you go to like blend it out, it does blend out really nice into the skin. 
But I think if you're just going to wear this on a day with like no foundation, if you are fair skin, it's, it's going to just show a little bit more. See? Look how pretty this looks. I wouldn't wear it like that one on its own because it's very like obvious. But with foundation on top, it's really beautiful. So let me just close these, get these out of the way. I'm going to fast forward this, but I am going to use the Say Beauty Slip Tint. This is sheer, but really nice. So I'm just going to take that. I did some quick foundation and I put some concealer on under my eyes. Next up, I want to go in with the two blush blushes that I got. I'm so excited to use these. I actually haven't used them on my face. I've only swatched them. So that's going to be exciting. Now, what I saw people do in the videos, like what they were demoing, is they did one stripe and then another stripe and then they kind of blended it. So I'm going to go with that method. On the right side of my face, I'm going to do shade two. So they would take this. Go on top like that, and then take this underneath it, and then they just blended it together. Very pretty. Um, it has like a nice slip to it. I don't know if it has, let me see something. Okay, it has like silica and it has dimethicone. I can feel that. Like it has like a nice like like a, ni a nice slip to it. Sorry, I can't speak right now. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more blush. So it's not super dewy feeling or anything like that, but it has a nice blendable feel to it. So that's shade two. On this side, we're going to do shade one, and I'm going to take that highlight shade like that. I think if you're like oily skin, I think you're going to like it. It's got a nice like, it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. It definitely feels like a drier um, cream. Very, very natural. Now, I want a little bit more highlight, so I'm going to go in with the Divine Glow Highlighter, and this is in Secret Gold. And I'm going to pick it up, and let's see, let's see. It's pretty, it's very soft, it's not, it's not a blinding highlighter or anything, it's a very very nice for like day or like if you're gonna go out but it's it's a very subtle it built up really nice as you can see it's not like heavy at all those of you that are in Europe let me know if you guys have tried this I'm just gonna take this down the bridge of my nose super pretty now I don't know that I would layer all of these all together all the time. I did it for the video because I wanted to see how everything looked. It's definitely doable though. You can layer it all together. And I feel like it doesn't look too crazy. The one thing that I will say, as I'm looking close, is if you have textured skin, because you're putting highlighter everywhere, it may emphasize some texture. So if you're going to use... Um, like these, I would hit them mainly on like the high points of the face only because like, let me come in. And it's not terrible, but like, I feel like I could see like all my little bumps here. Granted, that's from wearing a mask like all the time. So that's why those bumps are there in the first place. This is the blush. See how it sits on the skin? It blended out really nice. I don't see like where it starts, where it finishes. Same thing with this side. And the glow, I feel like you can see it peek through. Now, I use the slip tint, which is definitely, definitely super sheer coverage. You can go in with a heavier or 
like a a foundation that has like more coverage and I'm sure you'll still see it kind of peek through but this to me is very beautiful it's very like holiday very glowy it's glowy but it's not dewy it's very radiant but it looks it looks really nice like, I, like I'm looking at my skin through the viewfinder and I just see like this super pretty like holiday glow winter glow so if you're not into the dewy wet glow which I am um, you may like something like this I definitely recommend these what is this called? the molten glow highlighting drops very nice I did try to mix it with the foundation I didn't like the um, the mixture I preferred actually put the putting these on first like I did in the video and then putting on foundation this highlighting powder is really nice it's not chunky it's not like it's not overly emphasizing texture on the skin it just gives it a beautiful glow and I like that because I'm I have textured skin and I hate when like powder highlights really emphasize that the blush are really beautiful very natural I don't know like if you're super tan or super dark if it really is going to show up a lot it may or may not for me it's definitely on the softer side I prefer a little more color but then again like when the look is to be glowing it definitely does what it says that it's going to do like a glowy, dewy, highlight, blush duo. So that's really good. I feel like I'm forgetting something. No, I think that's it. I think that's it. So yeah, let me know if you are going to try this. Like I said, I know Ulta has some of the stuff. Um, the Kiko Milano website has obviously all of their line. Very nice. And from my understanding, when I was checking like my shipping, they ship out of New Jersey. So if you are on the East Coast, shipping is pretty pretty good um, I don't know how long it would take to get to the West Coast but I'm just saying they do have a warehouse in the US so that's awesome all right if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below and yeah I'll see you guys in my next one bye